This is a reading for a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> this is a love reading for June for you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. <clears throat> Let's see. What messages do we have for my Cancers for June 2019? energy that surrounds you is just this um, either there's a Libra that is significant to you guys or this is you guys feeling like there's something that you need to fix make right um, get what's what's rightfully yours even that energy of you know just trying to balance out the skills to make the right actions or make the right decisions as far as your life in general is concerned I feel let's see we're crossing you guys here six of wands I'm, I'm, I'm strongly getting that there's something that you feel like you deserve um, but I don't I'm getting like this lack of confidence from you guys. The Six of Wands energy is for you to, this is Leo energy. This is for you to have the confidence that you can do this. Whatever it is that you want, if you're wanting public recognition for something, it's for you to know that you have it inside of you and, and to do this, okay? It starts with you because if you speak good things if you feel good things um, then you put those things out there it's like using the law of attraction to draw in what you want okay so that's what's crossing you is to have the confidence to know that um, whatever it is that you want you can acquire it and you can do it okay let's see what the underlying issue is here ten of Pentacles for some of you this is um, about some kind of uh, financial endeavor. Um, I'm feeling that there's something that you're striving towards. You want to build a legacy for yourself. For others of you where this is strictly love, um, there is a, a, a very significant grounded relationship I feel like that ended for you. Uh, could be involving a, a Virgo individual but this is a situation that I feel like you are needing to really feel confident that you can make this happen if there is a relationship that you feel you want to be in for the long term. Okay, if there's somebody you need to make something right with or vice versa, um, this is basically having a confidence to know that you have it within you to make things right. You do what's necessary in this situation for all parties involved here is the issue. Okay. I feel there's a breakup here or there was a breakup here um, that is important to you that you're like weighing um, the pros and the cons. You're weighing certain behavior, certain actions, certain words that were spoken. Is this a good relationship for me? Should I be in this? Should I try to fix this? Um, some of you I feel like may be feeling like all is lost. Okay, and that's where that lack of confidence is coming from for some of you. Now, the recent past, we have the Two of Swords energy. Now, <clears throat> I feel like in the recent past, there was something that I feel that you guys probably were not trying to see. Okay. This is also Libra energy, so it may be um, somebody with those aspects in your chart. Um, very home body type person, values family, values relationships. And I feel like um, this is being very indecisive, not really wanting to see what is just and right or what was just and right in this situation. Um, whether this is you guys really not wanting to um, not make a decision or this is somebody else that was not making this decision um, and not feeling confident that you know the scales can be balanced there could be um, an equal give and take in a relationship that it could work out 
Okay. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Please show me Cancer's crowning thoughts. Six of Swords. You see there's two people in this boat. And this is Aquarius energy. Um, there's no cups here currently. So I don't feel like emotions are, are truly involved or truly at stake here. Um, I think this is more of a decision that you're trying to, to make. Strictly coming from logic. Okay. Um, this is basically wanting to move on. This is wanting to move on with somebody. This is letting bygones be bygones, working things out, talking things out, communicating effectively. And that's what you're you're thinking about, okay? It may be some issues from the past that you're wanting to address or somebody else is wanting to address here in this situation. Um, maybe to discuss the fact that there are certain wrongs that need to be righted, okay? Ooh. Okay, so we have two cards here. What's coming in for you is a Queen of Pentacles and a Four of Pentacles. Hmm. You know, the Four of Pentacles is, is you know, sometimes it's holding on to um, certain things. It could be holding on to a relationship. This is Capricorn energy. Or it could be holding on to money, trying to save money, not really feeling like you're not really having the resources um, to spend or to buy the things that you need sometimes here. And then it's coming with the Queen of Pentacles here. Now, the Queen is somebody that does have what she needs, what she needs. Okay. So I feel that what is coming in for you is somebody that you feel like has the resources that could possibly pull you out of um, feeling that lack, okay? Whether it's a financial lack, whether it's um, the lack of support that you're feeling, this person I feel like embodies that for you guys. Or either this is you guys working very hard um, towards this Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this is like, again, a job, a financial endeavor. Um, and I see that if this is a financial endeavor, I see you guys, your financial stature is increasing. Okay, you're saving, you're doing th the things necessary um, to, to help you get to a more financially stable place here. Okay. Let's see, how is Cancer viewing this situation? Two of Pentacles, you're really not sure about it. You're really not sure about it. Um, it could be somebody else that is involved for you. It could be two different people um, that's in question for you. Maybe a Libra and a Capricorn individual. Um, does that have to be those signs? But I'm definitely seeing that type of energy. I'm feeling like you guys are leaning more towards a Capricorn individual if that is the case. If there are two people, I'm feeling like you're leaning more towards um, the Capricorn individual, the Earth individual with Earth in their chart. Um, because I feel like it's more, it, it that situation presents itself as a more stable um, solution, decision for you. Okay. Because I think right now it's like you're focused on um, being financially secure, being being emotionally stable, um, and, and really wanting to settle down. This is what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see. What is the influence for my cancers? Four of Cups. Very stable energy. Um, you're not really sure, I feel, if you are wanting or you're at a point where you're really able to extend yourself emotionally. And I think that's where the indecisiveness is coming from. I think this is where, you know, the basically you have two twos right here and this is like having to make a choice having to make a decision and it's kind of up in the air for you um because i feel like this is all about 
uh, uh, you being secure and stable within yourself but I, I'm sensing that you know there's a lack of confidence because you're not really sure if you can be that secure whether it's financial or whether it's just stable period your personal stability without involving um, another person but you're also not sure if you really are, are wanting to be open to open yourself up to this vulnerability um, you know emotionally here because I'm feeling that you guys are kind of in a pickle hmm. let's see your hopes or fears is the moon is not being able to see things clearly not being able to make a decision um, a concrete decision here okay I feel like you have a lot of deep feelings um, for one person in particular I don't think you're quite comfortable with those feelings though um, because I think that right now you're more focused on the mundane things in life having having the assets and the money that you feel like you need to sustain yourself and not only sustain yourself but to elevate yourself and um, I'm, I'm getting from some of you that you you feel like if you allow yourself to be vulnerable and open up um, to the person that you feel like you really are you know are wanting to that it could backfire on you okay let's see what, what is the overall for my cancer friends you guys have got something going on in the month of june um i know a lot of you is your birthday this month so happy birthday by the way but um there there's a lot that i feel like you guys are reckoning with what is the overall for cancer Queen of Wands, <laughs> there's that confident person. This is the shit starter <laughs> in a good way. She takes the initiative. She has the confidence. Um, she's about her business. And I feel like, you know, in the month of June, this is who you are. This is who you are. Standing in your power. Running shit. Okay? So... I'm feeling like, you know, this this balancing act, all that comes to a conclusion um, by the end of the month or either a little bit into July. And you guys will figure it out, figure out exactly who and what you want in your life. Okay, so you got this. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. I'm feeling strong Aries, Leo, um, maybe another Cancer like you guys. Capricorn energy is here. I feel Virgo is here. Could be Taurus as well. Um, Libra and Aquarius, guys. All right. So that is what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.